SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalmantov. This is my new book. You can get it at Amazon.com or in your bookstore. We are going to import flat file data using bulk insert. Import into the database. But first, we export the data in preparation for the import. The very first thing is that we define a view for the export. And uh, so let's create the view. The view has been created. This is how it looks. We enclosed the vendor in uh, double quotes because there are special characters um, uh, such as comma in the vendor name. We also enclosed the purchasing web service because that has special characters in it as well. It is an important precaution because uh, when we export to a flat file, special characters can make the reverse, the importing, real difficult. At the next step, we are exporting the view to a .txt file. So this is the BCP statement, and this is the end of the BCP statement. This is the destination file. And we use XP command shell. So 104 rows were exported. We'll check it out soon. When we build a format file, this is a BCP instruction to build a format file. And this is a format file. We are going to use a format file in a bulk insert. So let's build the format file. Execute. Let's check out what we have so far. And uh, vendor is going to be the destination table for the bulk insert. This is the format file. This was generated with uh, BCP. If we look at it, we see each column is described, which is very important uh, metadata for uh, bulk insert, because if we don't have this metadata, bulk insert may fail. And this is how the actual flat file looks. We see the vendor ID and this is a vendor code, the vendor name, and this is the credit flag, and finally this is the URL, and uh, where it actually exists we see the value for a purchasing URL. Great, so now we are ready to import it back with bulk insert. So the bulk insert is indicating what is the source and what is uh, the format file and what is the destination. This is a destination table. Execute and import it 104 rows back. So it was a successful round trip as to say of export and import. Let's check out the results. Now we actually don't want the double quotes, we just added the double quotes to protect against the malfunction during the export or the import. So let's get rid of the double quotes. 
by an update statement and this is the update statement so we are updating the vendor table and we use a replace function to replace the double quotes with an empty string so basically we eliminate it in the name column and also the purchasing web service URL column let's do the update execute 104 rows so we do another select query and we see now that the double quotes are gone and we have the information the way it's in the view in summary exporting and importing data is um, a very important function when we are working with database on the other hand there are lots of traps lots of difficulties when we are doing it so uh, we have to be careful and frequently we have to make changes and experimentation to make sure that we data export and the data import happens successfully. This is the end of a short demo.